Hello YouTube, welcome to another MMD PNB tutorial, and in this one I'm going to show you guys how to um, make a model on PMX instead of PMD. And I have to apologize because I'm still really sick, <clears throat> so I'm sorry if I start coughing and everything. Um, so the first thing I do is I always save the model as um, whatever um, in the folder that I'm going to be using. And... Um, the best thing I think about PMX, if you look how this is written, it's written like text or TEX slash whatever or tune slash whatever or SPH slash whatever. Um, it's because in PMX you can actually organize your folders. Um, you don't have to do it this way, but I prefer doing it that way because it's just really easy to... Um, organize everything it's really it makes it really easy to find something so you only need to write um whatever folder name slash the texture name if you choose to do it like that if not then you're good um so the first thing i always do is i get rid of um the bra and underwear don't ever use it very well very rarely do i actually use it um and of course you need to have your MSK button up, and because uh, that's that's where you find all your um, items and everything. Um, so yeah, you can see kind of how I set everything up on my folder. Uh, oh yeah, put your um, your MOV box up as well. And I always put my sub screen up, but you don't have to. Um, that's just I just it's something I prefer to um, have up on the side. Alright, so I need to find, I actually want to change the eye color really quick, so I'm going to go ahead and find that and change that really fast. Sorry, I was trying to remember um, what its name was. And these eyes are actually a little too um, light because I tested them before, but since we're already there, um, I'm just going to keep them on. So I'm going to go ahead and save that again, and um, now I'm going to um, start, what is this? I think I, uh, I think this is the shirt. Okay, let me rename this really quick. Um, okay, so I'm just going to drag stuff, always push add, click OK, and then you're going to, if you have it named, like in the folders, like if you look how I have all my stuff, like the SPH, folder, it has all my sphere textures, you know, so on and so forth, TEX is all like my texture folders, and then I always keep my PMX and PMD ones out, so if you have it like that, just um, write it how um, I'm writing it, and if you didn't know, one really great thing to do, um, hold on, let me type this in, is to, if you have multiple fo uh, file, um, like little things, just click it, and then you, if you control click everything else that needs um, that same thing and just press paste, it'll automatically go to all those other ones. It's really, really nice. <clears throat> Sorry. Alright, so let me control click all these and paste that here. Alright, so the hair is done. And um, this edge thing right here, like I clicked on earlier, this is actually just to get the line like all, like from around the um, item. I hate having the outline. It drives me nuts. All right, and let me see if this needs to be moved at all. It actually kind of looks like it's pretty much in the right spot. But let me try to move it up a little. Yeah, this is it's pretty much in the right spot. All right. So, but generally, you're going to have to move uh, whatever hair you get. <clears throat> I'm surprised I didn't have to with this one. And uh, I'm, I'm actually going to try to add on some pants to this character because it since the pants and like long sleeves and stuff are a lot harder to use. Um, so let me go ahead and name this. All right, so make sure everything else is unclicked but the item you're working on and make sure to select it. So to make this fit, I am gonna make them a bit bigger. That's a little too big. Or I should be good. I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger this way as well. Alright, I'm going to put these down just a bit. Alright, that should be about good. So, see how the rest of that skin showing through? Um, to get rid of that, just click on the body and select the pieces you need to get rid of. So, just about there looks good. Um, right click, 
Oops. Okay, then right click, push split, and then click yes. And click on the new thing you made. Make sure that's the only thing clicked. Right click and delete it. And as you can see, all of it disappeared. Um, there's still some at the bottom, so I'm going to see um, if I can go ahead and get rid of that a little bit. <clears throat> so again, right click, split, click yes, and then make sure only that is... Ooh, I see I almost messed up. Make sure um, only that's clicked and then delete that. And so there's still a little bit left, so I'm just going to go ahead and try um, moving the pants just a bit. Oops, wrong way. Okay, that looks like that's about good. I do this side. I need to be a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. All right, I think this looks like it's good to me. And so now I'm gonna go and get it the next piece up. Um, this I'm just gonna put on some sandals for this character. Um, always remember to push add. I'm gonna go ahead and unclick the pants. Select those, and let me go ahead and um, rename all these so I can um, see the texture, so I can even move them. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this so I don't have to keep retyping that. And again, if you are not making the folders how I made them, do not type your files in like this because your model will be completely white. If you just want everything out, like how you do, would do it on PMD, just leave it how it is. Alright, got all that done. And let's see. You just need to... Looks like they just need to be moved up a little bit. <clears throat> Ooh, that's too much. Okay, about right there looks good. Alright, that was an easy fit for those. Okay, so next thing, I'm going to go ahead and put on a shirt. I'm going to add and click, <clears throat> sorry, okay. And, of course, let me go ahead and um, get this texture up for it so I can even see what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and unclick the shoes. Oops. All right. It actually looks like this is that. That's really weird. I don't like ever get this much luck with anything. Like it actually looks like this shirt is fit onto the model really well. I don't see any skin showing through. So that is absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I'm going to click this T up here to put up transform view, and I'm going to go ahead and load a motion onto here, um, so, I don't have to, so I don't have to get a P, uh, MMD yet. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm just going to put this one on since it's already here. Okay, so all you do is find it, you just hold it and drag it, and um, make sure that your M up here is clicked and press play, and then your model should start moving. So, as you can see, it looks like nothing is showing through from what I can see. Um, the eyes definitely are a little too light. So, if this was a model that I would actually want to keep, um, the eyes would def the eye color would definitely be changed. Uh, shirt does not have any physics. It seems like only the hair does, but that's not really a big deal. Um, but it actually looks like this is this model is going to work out pretty well. So, go ahead and just. Um, stop that do another quick check and let me make sure that this was saved okay and now I will go ahead and get up um, um, uh, Miku Miku dance and I'm actually gonna go ahead and pause it really quick just so I can load it and put um, uh, textures on and stuff alright so I got everything up I actually didn't put the texture on because as I said the eyes are incredibly light um, and they, they look, I mean, cause they already look pretty white, but they are, I mean, they looked really white after I put it on. So as you can see, everything is still working great with the model. Um, nothing's showing through, everything's working fine. Um, so if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, um, of course, please leave 
um, it in the comments or message me on my Facebook page and give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.